Hi guys, it's Ms. Perkins here. Today we're going to be talking about Module 4, Lesson 23. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about being able to interpret two-digit numbers as tens and ones, and sometimes there are going to be more than nine ones. So looking at this, we have our pictures. So we're going to be looking at each picture and writing how many tens and ones there are. So looking at this, we know there's one ten. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Once. So now we have to, if we can make a new ten, let's make a new ten. And now let's do it with these tens. How many tens are there now? One. Two. How many ones are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we know that 29 can be represented as 1, 10, 19 ones or 2, 10, 9 ones. So now let's do this next one. There's 1, 2, 3 tens and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 once. We also can see that these are both tens as well. So now let's see. One, two, three, four, five tens, zero ones. So 50 can be represented as three tens, 20 ones, or five tens, zero ones. So now let's look at this last one. There's one, two tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen ones. Now if we can make a new ten, let's do it. So now 10, 1, 2, 3, tens, and then 4, 1s is left. So that means 34 can be represented as 2 tens, 14 ones, or 3 tens, 4 ones. Alrighty, guys, that's it for this video.